Hi, I'm, my name is Marty Ross and I'm 81 years old. Hello fellow seniors. I know, uh, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're planning. I know that I'm going to be safe over here because you seem like nice people. I mean, I'm 81. Uh, anyone here my age? No, not yet? All right, well, how about anybody here around 100? I know there's someone here. All right, raise his hand. All right? That's very cool because, you know, my mother's 101. And uh, if you'd like to know the family secret, we don't die. No, we keep shrinking till we just disappear. So I went to visit my mother in the nursing home. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. Uh, the only reason I'm here now is I had to get a, a pass from the front desk. And you want to know humiliating? My mother, 101-year-old mother, had to sign it. I don't know if anyone other than us know what goes on in these places. You have all these older ladies just looking for a guy who can walk without falling over. I found this out. I'm walking down the hall one day. An arm comes out of a doorway. This woman grabs me. She pulls me into the room. The next thing I know, I'm crocheted to the bed. So I went to visit my mom's at her apartment. All I said was, hi, mom. And she said, stand up straight, you're slouching. I'm like, mom, she said, don't make that face. It'll freeze like that. I said, crap. She said, you want me to wash your mouth out? I said, mom, please, when are you going to stop treating me like a kid? I'm 81 years old. She said, oh, look at Mr. Big Shot, all grown up now, are we? Oh, man, but I am. I have grandchildren, and I know you have grandchildren, and probably some of you have great-grandchildren. But I bet you don't have some grandchildren like I do. I have a six-year-old grandson that I was watching the other day, and he was telling me that he knows everything about George Washington. And I was like, what? And he goes, well, George Washington was the first president, and he is the father of our country. I said, that's wonderful. I said, what else? He said, Grandpa, did you vote for him? And if you think that's bad, I have an eight-year-old grandson. Boy, is he a piece of work. We're playing checkers the other day. He looks up at me and said, you're going down, bald man. And then he said, Grandpa, if you die while we're playing, I win. Really? But I, my oldest grandson uh, just turned 18, graduated high school, and now he thinks he knows everything, and his grandpa knows nothing. And he's like, Grandpa, you know it's 2021. You don't know how anything works. And I'm like, really? Do you know how to please a woman? He said, no, but you have three ex-wives, so either do you. I also have a 15-year-old granddaughter, and what a delight. I was giving her a driving lesson last Saturday. Everything was going great till we came around the turn, hopped the curb, and hit a tree. Oh, she's sitting there with tears just streaming down her face, and she said, Grandpa, now can I please drive? Oh, such a sweet story. My memory is, is awful. I don't know about the rest of you, uh, but it, I can't remember anything anymore. I mean, my whole life feels like, do you ever walk into a room in your house and have no idea why you're there? So you start looking for clues? That's what my life is like. I mean, I had a doctor appointment two weeks ago. 
I go out to my car, forgot my keys. Not the end of the world, it happens. But I go back to my house, forgot why I was there and made myself a sandwich. The next thing I know, the doctor's office calls and I'm like, oh crap, I'll be right over. So I rush back out to my car. Wouldn't you know it, forgot my keys again. But this time, I use my head. All the way back to the house, I said, Doctor, keys, Doctor, keys, which probably explains why I ended up in the office of Dr. Theodore Keys Gynecologist. The good news is my pap smear came back perfect. <laughs>